In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create what's known as a block in AutoCAD. Blocks are pre-drawn elements, so for architectural use, for example, it could be items of sanitary wear, cars, trees, people. For mechanical engineering, it could be things like nuts or bolts, gears, things like that. Now, in this drawing that you can see on screen, there are a variety of elements on these doors, including something like this door knocker here. Now this door knocker is currently made up of different lines and arcs and splines but it would be very useful if it were glued together as one single object to be able to use on drawings later. What I'm going to do is copy this object to the side of my drawing and I'll run through the block making process. Now a very important element of creating blocks is to make sure that the elements or constituents of your block are placed on layer zero. Now the reason for that is zero has a chameleon-like property which allows the block to then take on the color or properties of the layer onto which it's placed. I'm going to go to this button over here which is make block which brings up our block definition window. There are three major steps which we need to run through here. The first is making a name for the block. The second is selecting the objects which will form the block. And lastly, picking a base point, which is very important. So firstly, I'll give it a name. Hmm. Select objects. Select and then enter and lastly then click for a base point and just choose a sensible logical place for it and then click OK and this now has been converted into a block once you have blocks you can insert them you can copy them around and they'll be a lot easier to deal with than just a group of loose elements together and one of the major benefits of blocks is the ability to make global changes because they're references. If I select a block and right click, I'm able to select the block editor option, which opens up my block in an editing environment. Now I can make any changes to the block, for example, these lines over here if I delete them, and at the top click the close block editor button, saving the changes you'll see here that it's updated all of my blocks. So blocks are very useful. They can be stored in a library. Once you've made them, it's very important that you store them. There's no point in just leaving this block alone in this drawing here. Now to export a block to keep it stored somewhere, perhaps in a folder or your block library, type the command W block and enter. And from here we're able to choose a destination for our block. We're able to choose a source. I'm going to click on block on the top left hand side and from the list choose my door knocker. I've chosen the desktop as my destination just as it's a convenient place to store it temporarily before moving it on and I'll click OK. Off it goes and by minimizing AutoCAD now you can see I have my door knocker on my desktop as an independent AutoCAD drawing which can be stored as a block. 